Ready to go. Morning, everyone. Uh, we have a quorum. Ask that visitors retire behind the rail. We will get started. Uh, before we start, I would ask that if anyone has a cell phone or any other electronic device that makes noise, ask that you please turn it on silent or better yet, turn it off. Thank you. To give our invocation this morning, the chair recognizes Reverend Buddy Osborne, senior pastor of the Rock Calvary Chapel of Kensington and the founder of Rock Ministries of Philadelphia. He is here today as a guest of Councilman O. I'd ask all guests and visitors to please rise. Thank you. Morning. Morning. Council, for me to come here to pray this morning. Uh, one of the, uh, the amazing things, I live my life on prayer, and it's so nice to see this city revitalized, uh, but, but what's more important for me is to see prostitutes revitalized with their lives and young kids that are raised up to sling drugs on the block now to be going to school in the college. We have three police officers now from the hood, uh, right down in Kensington, who are now police officers, and they were born and raised in a, one of the toughest areas, one of the poorest areas in, in the country. We are so grateful, and we, we, we attribute that to prayer. So let's pray now. Father, we thank you so much, Lord, for just uh, this, this opportunity, Lord, to stand here, Lord. Uh, Lord, you are the creator of this world. Father, I just pray for each council member, for their families, Lord, for their loved ones, Lord. I pray for unity in this body, Lord. I pray, Father, that you would have your way in each of their lives. And, and Lord, there's so many decisions that be made uh, in this city, Lord. The weight that's on their shoulders, Lord. I pray, Father, that you would just, you would just show them that you are truly the way, the truth, and the life. And Lord, that, that you have a purpose for all of them here, Lord. So Lord God, just bless this day. Lord, use these folks you've gifted mightily in their calling in life. And it's in Jesus' name I pray, and everybody says amen. Amen. Thank you so much, Pastor. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Thank you for giving your attention. 
We'll move on to the approval of the journal. The chair recognizes Councilwoman Brown for the approval of the journal of the meeting of Thursday, April 9th, 2015. Good morning, Mr. President. I move that the journal of the meeting of Thursday, April 9th, 2015 be approved. Second. Thank you. It's been moved and properly seconded that the journal of the meeting of Thursday, April 9th, 2015 stand approved. All those in favor? Aye. Those opposed? Ayes have it and the journal is approved. Next order of business is a request for leaves of absence and the chair recognizes Councilman Jones. Thank you, Mr. President. On behalf of the majority, a leave of absence has been requested by Councilmember Bill Greenlee. Okay. Leave shall be granted. Thank you. Chair recognizes Councilman O'Neill. Thank you, Mr. President. On behalf of the Republicans, there are no requests for leave of absence. Chair, thanks to the gentleman. At this time, I would like to dispense with the regular order of business to welcome and thank everyone who has taken time out of their busy day to come down to witness their government in action. Uh, we genuinely appreciate the fact that you felt it important enough for you to come down and, and see what we're doing uh, in the City Council of Philadelphia today. So again, thank you. Uh, we hope that you really enjoy yourself so much that you come back again. At this time, the Chair recognizes Councilman O'Neill, who will present a resolution in, in solemn recognition of the annual Holocaust Remembrance. Would Sarita Gashal and those accompanying her please join the Councilman at the podium? And joining Councilwoman, I'm sorry, joining Councilman O'Neill, we will have Councilwoman Cindy Bass also. Thank you. This is a resolution in solemn recognition of the week of April 12th through April 19th, 2015, is the annual remembrance of the six million Jewish martyrs who perished during the Holocaust. Whereas 70 years ago, six million Jews were murdered in the Nazi Holocaust as part of a systematic program of genocide and millions of other people suffered as victims of Nazism. Whereas this year, we commemorate the 70th anniversary of the end of World War II, when American forces liberated Buchenwald, one of the largest concentration camps, on April 11, 1945. More than 20,000 prisoners were liberated that day. Concentration camps at Dora Mittelbau, Flossenburg, and Dachau were also liberated by American forces in April 1945. Although the Germans had attempted to empty the camps of survivors and cover up the atrocities, Allied soldiers came upon thousands of bodies stacked like firewood. And whereas Holocaust deniers continued to spew lies, despite the physical evidence left behind, including photographs captured by liberators, the meticulous record of the Nazis, as well as the testimony of survivors. It is incumbent upon the world to teach our children the lessons of the Holocaust. And whereas the Days of Remembrance is not only an opportunity for us to remember the suffering, but is a call to conscience to make sure that we don't stand silently, contributing to the suffering of others, and whereas the people of the city of Philadelphia should continually rededicate themselves to the principle of equal justice for all people. And whereas the people of the city of Philadelphia should remain eternally vigilant against all tyranny and recognize that bigotry provides a breeding ground for tyranny to flourish. And whereas Jewish, the Jewish Federation of Greater Philadelphia and the Memorial Committee for the Six Million Jewish Martyrs invites all citizens of Philadelphia and the region to join in the commemoration ceremony on April 19th, 2015, in front of the Holocaust Monument on the Benjamin Franklin Parkway from 1 to 2.30 p.m. Therefore, by virtue of this citation, the Council of the City of Philadelphia does hereby recognize the week of April 12th through April 19th, 2015, is the annual remembrance of the six million Jewish martyrs. 
we further recognize the horror of the Holocaust and extend to the Memorial Committee the respect and admiration of this legislative body. Therefore, be it resolved by virtue of this citation that we hereby recognize this week and further recognize the Holocaust and extend to the, again, the Memorial Committee. This is signed by the President of City Council, Darrell Clark, and co-sponsored by every member of council. Thank you. Chair recognizes Ms. Gospel for remarks. Good morning. Good morning. I'd like to thank President Darrell Clark, Councilman Brian O'Neill, and Councilwoman Cindy Bass for helping us with this citation. Today, April 16th, is actually Yom HaShoah, the Day of Remembrance. The day we mem memorialize the millions of innocent people who fell victim to the Holocaust. We will be commemorating the 70th anniversary of the end of World War II in Europe and the liberation of the concentration camps at our annual memorial ceremony for the six million Jewish martyrs this Sunday, April 19th at 11 p.m. at 16th and Benjamin Franklin Parkway. And we invite all of you to attend. This is sponsored by the Jewish Federation of Greater Philadelphia. And I would like to uh, note that our president, Bud Newman, is here with us today. Thank you. When the liberators walked into the nightmare of the death camps, Auschwitz, Buchenwald, Majdanek, Treblinka, and Dachau, they had no idea what they would find. I'd like to share an excerpt from a liberator, Harry J. Herder, Jr., a soldier in the U.S. Armed Forces. This is a quote. This happened to a group of us on April 11th, 1945. There it was, a great high barbed wire fence, at least 10 feet high. There were high guard towers every 50 yards or so. Beyond the fence were two more layers of barbed wire. Our tanks blew straight at and through the barbed wire and shorted the electricity. I remember scouting the area in front of us. There were some major buildings, and next to one of those buildings was a monster of a chimney, a monster both in diameter and in height. Black smoke was pouring out of it and blowing away from us, but we could still smell it an ugly, horrible smell, a vicious smell, the smell of bodies burning. We were expecting a firefight with German troops, but there were no German troops present. Slowly, a ragged group of human beings started to creep out of and from between the buildings in front of us. Human beings, timidly, slowly, deliberately, showing their hands, all in a sort of uniform, or bits or pieces of uniform. They came out of the buildings and just stood there. Everything was quiet. Hesitantly, we inched closer to that strange group as they all started itch inching closer to us. Some spoke English and asked, are you American? We said we were, and the reaction of the whole mass was immediate. Their faces became relaxed and joyful as they all began chattering in a babble of tongues that we could not understand. We pointed our weapons at the ground, making it obvious these weapons were not at the ready. End of quote. Even with testimony such as this, Holocaust deniers are still telling lies, saying that the testimony of survivors and liberators are lies. They insist that there were not six million Jews living in Europe, and those that did live there decided to leave. They insisted that the Jews of Europe that did not leave were taken to work camps, not crematorium. The lies go on. The reality is that it did happen. It happened to my family, and it happened in relatively recent times. So we haven't learned, and there is much work to be done. The survivors of the Holocaust, our parents, transmitted their stories to future generations and to the world. The liberators who looked upon the walking dead and the thousands of bodies piled in neat rows have shared their stories as well. 
We must remain vigilant and raise our voices whenever and wherever we see injustice and hate. I will conclude with a quote from Frank Towers, 30th Infantry Division Liberator. I often wonder what this world would be like if those six million had never perished. We will never know. Thank you, and I invite everyone to join us on Sunday. Thank you. Council Beatties. Thank you. The next order of business is communications, and the chair requests that the sergeant of arms delivers the messages from the mayor to the chief clerk. Mr. Decker, please read those communications. To the President and members of the Council of the City of Philadelphia, I am submitting herewith for the consideration of your honorable body an ordinance authorizing the revision of lines and grades on a portion of City Plan Number 58 by striking from the City Plan and vacating Mellon Street from Park Avenue to Ridge Avenue and striking from the City Plan and abandoning a portion of a right of way reserved for drainage purposes and water main purposes in the bed of former Pot Street and 13th Street to Broad Street south of Fairmount Avenue. And an ordinance amending Section 11301 of the Philadelphia Code entitled Streets Improvements to revise the method by which the Board of Surveyors may approve supplemental plans, relocating the curb lines, and changing the roadway widths of streets, all under certain terms and conditions. Thank you, Mr. Decker. Do you have any additional communications? I have none, Mr. President. Thank you very much. The next order of business is an introduction of bills and resolutions, and the chair recognizes Councilwoman Blackwell. Thank you, Mr. President. Today I introduce two resolutions. Uh, one non both uh, one privilege and one non-privilege. One is introduced on your behalf and co-sponsored by Councilwoman Maria Sanchez and myself. Thank you, Councilwoman. Thank you. A privilege resolution recognizing the month of April 2015 as Fair Housing Month. That will be on this week's final passage calendar. And a non-privilege resolution calling on the President of the United States and the Secretary of the Department of Housing and Urban Development to preserve the Moving to Work program and maintain current or substantially similar funding levels for the Philadelphia Housing Authority. And that will be on next week's final passage calendar. Chair recognizes Councilman Heenan. Oh, it's not here. 
Uh, the chair recognizes Councilwoman Tasco. Mr. President, I have no bills or resolutions today. Thank you, Councilwoman. The chair recognizes Councilman Johnson. Council President, I have four bills. Thank you, Councilman. You're welcome. An ordinance establishing a parking regulation on Catherine Street, north side, 20th Street to 21st Street, and an ordinance establishing a parking regulation on Christian Street, both sides, Broad Street to 15th Street, and an ordinance amending Section 9204 of the Philadelphia Code entitled Sidewalk Vendors in Center City by eliminating a previously designated vendor location, and an ordinance establishing a parking regulation on 16th Street, both sides, Catherine Street to Fitzwater Street. Thank you. Those four bills will be referred to the appropriate committee. Chair recognizes Councilwoman McKeown and Sanchez. Thank you, Mr. President. I have no bills or resolutions. Thank you, Councilwoman. Chair recognizes Councilman Nielsen. Uh, Councilman Heenan's yeah. desk. There we go. You, you have to. You have yeah, on behalf of Councilman Heenan, uh, I have two bills and one resolution. Okay. If they're, his, they're his bills. And do you have any? I do not. Oh, okay. I do not. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Councilman. An ordinance establishing a neighborhood district to be known as the May 4 Business Improvement District in an area that generally includes both sides of Frankfurt Avenue from the north side of Harbison Avenue to the south side of Sheffield Street and certain blocks of streets that intersect that portion of Frankfurt Avenue, designating Mayfair Business Improvement District, Inc., a Pennsylvania nonprofit corporation as the Neighborhood Improvement District Management Association for the district. That bill will be referred to committee. And an ordinance amending Title 14 of the Philadelphia Code entitled Zoning and Planning by amending Section 14200 entitled Definitions and Section 14900 entitled Signs to provide for wacky, waving, inflatable, arm flailing two persons and to further provide for wacky, waving, inflatable, arm flailing two persons sold by Al Harrington, uh, uh, of Al Harrington's wacky, waving, inflatable, arm flailing Tube Man Emporium and Warehouse. <laughs> that will be referred to committee. <laughs> <laughs> And a non privilege uh, resolution initiating uh, Mr. action. De Mr. Decker, hold on one second. Do we have, we need to recognize? Could Mr. Decker please repeat that again? <laughs> I was, Mr. Decker, I was trying to move it along. I was, I was afraid that request would come. It, it, oh, it'll be in the transcript. Okay. All right. <laughs> Councilman Jones, you, were you looking to be recognized? You good? I heard him. I think. All right. I got you. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, we will now call on Councilman O'Brien. Will we do you have one more bill? And a non-privilege resolution initiating action to establish a neighborhood improvement district to be known as the May 4 Business Improvement District. And that will also be referred to committee. And we now again recognize this Councilman O'Brien. Thank you, Mr. President. I have one privileged resolution. Thank you, Councilman. We hope it's simple. A privilege resolution recognizing May 2015 as ALS Awareness Month to honor the individuals living with ALS and to urge the President and Congress to provide additional funding for research in order to fund a treatment and a cure for ALS. And that will be on this week's final passage calendar. Chair recognizes Councilman Good. Thank you, Mr. President. I offer no bills or resolutions today. Thank you, Councilman. Chair recognizes Councilwoman Reynolds Brown. Good morning, Mr. President. I offer three bills, two bills on your behalf, and one resolution on your behalf. Thank you, Councilwoman. An ordinance to amend the Philadelphia zoning maps by changing the zoning designations of certain areas of land located within an area bounded by Broad Street, Dolphin Street, Watt Street, and Susquehanna Avenue. That bill will be referred to committee. And an ordinance to amend the Philadelphia zoning maps by changing the zoning designations of certain areas of land located within an area bounded by Thompson Street, Fort Street, Oxford Avenue, and Lawrence Street. And that will also be referred to committee. And an ordinance amending section 192600 of the Philadelphia Code entitled Business and Income and Receipts Taxes to add a new subsection, school district sponsorship credit by providing a credit for certain contributions. Referred to committee. 
And a non privilege resolution authorizing the Commissioner of Public Property to execute and deliver to the Philadelphia Redevelopment Authority without consideration deeds conveying conditional fee simple title to the city on lots of pieces of ground with the buildings and improvements that are on situate in the 37th Ward of the City of Philadelphia. Thank you. And that will be on next week's final passage calendar. And Chair recognizes Councilman Jones. Thank you, Mr. President. I have one privilege resolution co sponsored by Blackwell, Bass, Brown, Good, and Tasco. Thank you, Councilman. A privilege resolution authorizing joint hearings by the Committees on Public Safety and Housing, Neighborhood Development, and the Homeless to conduct hearings to on mortgage foreclosure notice procedures and requirements under Pennsylvania law that must be provided to residential homeowners, property occupants, and all other parties of interest. And that will be on this week's final passage calendar. The chair recognizes Councilman O'Neill. Thank you, Mr. President. I have no bills or resolutions. Thank you, Councilman. The chair recognizes Councilman Squillow. Thank you, Mr. President. Today I offer three bills, one privileged resolution, one non-privileged resolution, and I wish to be recognized after the title of resolutions calling, recalling bill number 150056 when it is read for a motion on the resolution. Thank you, Councilman. And ordinance amending section 11301 of the Philadelphia Code entitled Street Improvements to revise the method by which the Board of Surveyors may improve, approve supplemental plans relocating curb lines and changing the roadway width of streets. And an ordinance amending chapter 12-1000 of the Philadelphia Code entitled Parking Meter Regulations and Penalties to specify the fee for parking meter payments made through mobile payment systems. And an ordinance to amend the Philadelphia zoning maps by changing the zoning designations of certain areas of land located within an area bounded by 5th Street, Reed Street, 4th Street, and Dickinson Street. Those three bills will be referred to committee. And a privilege resolution congratulating the Saints John Newman and Maria Goretti Saints 2014-15 boys basketball team on winning the District 12 Class AAA City title and the PIAA Division AAA State Championship. One more. Uh, that will be on today's final passes calendar. And a non-privileged resolution requesting the mayor to return to council bill number 150056 entitled an ordinance amending subcode A of title four of the Philadelphia Code entitled the Philadelphia Administrative Code by amending chapter three entitled permits and title nine of the Philadelphia Code entitled regulation of businesses, trades and professions by amending chapter 9200 entitled commercial activities on streets for the purpose of reconsideration by the council of the vote by which said bill passed council. Do you recognize Councilman Squill? Thank you, Mr. President. I move that the rules of council be suspended to permit consideration on the resolution today's final passage calendar. Second. Been moved and properly second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Ayes have it, and the motion is approved. The chair recognizes Councilwoman Bass. Thank you, Mr. President. No bills or resolutions. Thank you, Councilwoman. The chair recognizes Councilman O. Thank you, Mr. President. I have no bills or resolutions. Thank you very much, Councilman. And that concludes our introduction of bills and resolutions, and we will now have reports from the committee. And the chair recognizes Councilwoman Tasco for a report from the Committee of Finance. Mr. President, I offer one bill which I have to sign. Thank you. I offer one bill on behalf of. Uh, the Committee of Finance, and we report this bill out with a favorable recommendation. Thank you, Councilwoman. Mr. Decker, please read that report. The Committee on Finance, which is referred Bill Number 150197, entitled an ordinance amending sections 191303 of the Philadelphia Code, entitled Discounts and Additions to Tax, and 191806, entitled Authorization of Realty Use and Occupancy Tax, by further tolling additions, interest, and penalties when the assessed value of property is under appeal, and further limiting tax payments due based on certain assessments under appeal, all under certain terms and conditions. Respectful reports it is considered the same and returns the attached bill to council with a favorable recommendation. Chair again recognizes Councilwoman Tasco. I move that the rules of council be suspended so as to permit first reading this day of bill number 150197. Thank you. It has been moved and properly second that the rules of council be suspended so as to permit first reading this day of bill number 150197. All those in favor? Those opposed, ayes have it. And this bill will be placed on our first reading calendar today. Chair recognizes Councilwoman Blackwell. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, the, res the second resolution we introduced that was co-sponsored by you, that was sponsored by you and co-sponsored by Councilwoman Sanchez and myself, uh, would, could we ask for suspension of the rules so that that may be considered today? Certainly. Thank you. Make that motion. Uh, there's been a motion. 
Councilwoman, why don't we read that again? Mr. Decker, read the resolution again. I know we're a little out of turn. A resolution calling on the President of the United States and the Secretary of the Department of Housing and Urban Development to preserve the, the Moving to Work program and maintain current or substantially similar funding levels for the Philadelphia Housing Authority. Introduced by Councilwoman Blackwell for Council President Clark. Okay, Councilwoman, can you make that motion now? Yes, sir. Um, we move that the rules of council be suspended so as to permit consideration on today's calendar. It's been moved and properly second. All those in favor? Aye. Those opposed? Ayes have it. And that resolution will be on today's final passage. Thank calendar. you. Thank you, Councilwoman. Okay. Um, that concludes our reports from committee. And the next order of business is consideration of the calendar. I know that the bill just reported from committee. Um, with the suspension of the rules have been deemed to have had a first reading. It will be on our second reading and final passes calendar at our next session of the council. And there are no additional bills on the first reading calendar today. So the chair recognizes Councilman Jones for the purpose of calling up bills and resolutions on the final reading passes calendar. Thank you, Mr. President. The following resolutions and bills are being called up for second reading and final passage calendars today. Numbers 150290, 150291, 150294, 150295, 150296, 150303, 150304, 150305, 150305, 150305, 150305, 150305, 150305, 150305, 150305, 150305, 150305, 150305, 150305, 150305, 150305, 150305, 150305, 150305, 150305, 150305, 
I don't want to leave no else. Northwest, South, and Germantown, Mount Neve, Winfield, and we could go on and on. And those are the people that go through the gallery to eat, to shop, to go to work, and to do business. So make sure that we in Philadelphia get a piece of that, not only talk about those jobs, but talk about the businesses that are going to go there from Philly, minorities, women, and small merchants like ourselves. Um, and I lost my speech, so now I had to rewrite it. But anyway, I just want to um, say that uh, we want to be part of the plan. Um, I want to uh, thank um, Mayor Squila, I mean, Councilman Squila, oh. <laughs> so much for working with us and making sure that he uh, um, put us, I mean, although our business is in his district, but he treat us like we live in the district. Most of us don't live in the district, but I want to thank him for reaching out to SEPTA to try to get us back in the gallery until those two years. I mean, he's done just so much. So whoever runs for mayor and wins, they better do a good job those four years or we're going to draft him after those four years. All right. <laughs> <laughs> but I just want to say one more thing. Small businesses' lives matter. Right. So don't You're absolutely up. right. Thank you so much for your testimony. Chair. Thank you. Chair recognizes Council Squilla. I mean, <laughs> Councilman, Councilman. Squilla, for now. Thank okay. you. Right. Thank you, Irma. And I just want to say I, got it, I want to give credit to uh, Irma for her um, leadership and, and guidance on this. Um, without her uh, inspiration and, and really organization of, of the vendors, uh, this would not have happened. And uh, because of this and the city subsidies and, and whatever goes into this process, there will be an EOP in place, which is very important because it not only counts jobs, but it talks about minority woman-owned businesses, but not only that, but also local businesses to be part of it. And that's what's important because sometimes that gets lost in the mix. And uh, so I think that's an important issue. And again, thank you for your advocacy. It's been uh, really, we've been listening to it. We understand and hopefully the uh, septa, septa stations will be opening up soon with those vendor opportunities and uh, looking forward to working with you in the future. Thank you. Thank you, thank you Councilman. Person want to talk? <laughs> no money. <laughs> okay. Naseem Mohammed, commenting on 150306. Good morning. Good morning. My name is Naseem Mohammed, and uh, I'm coming here for <clears throat> talk about my other fellows because we whatever we have a problem. Now we don't have a business over there in the center city where we hard, hard to living over there, and how we survive after we find out. Just we find out. Philadelphia make a big nice malls. So they make a big nice mall, they're making a nice, nice big store, Gucci Gabbana, Gucci, or those kind of stores where we go, where we have a place. So that's the reason we're coming here, but now she explained everything, so I don't think I have to talk that much. <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for your testimony. There are no other speakers on the public comment list, Mr. President. Thank you very much. Ms. Decker, can you please read the title of 150290? A resolution authorizing the Commissioner of Public Property to execute and deliver to the Philadelphia Redevelopment Authority without consideration deeds conveying conditional fees, simple title, so sitting on lots of pieces of ground with the buildings and improvements are on, situated in the 28th Ward of the City of Philadelphia. Chair recognizes Councilwoman Reynolds Brown for a motion. Thank you, Mr. President. I move that. Uh, I'm going to make a motion. Big what? It's been moved and properly second. All those in favor? Aye. Those opposed? Ayes have it. Resolution 150290 is approved. Yeah, Mr. Decker, 150291. A resolution approving the redevelopment contract of the Philadelphia Redevelopment Authority for the redevelopment and urban renewal of a portion of the model city's urban renewal area identified by house number and street address as 1733 North 31st Street. Thank you. The chair again recognizes Councilwoman Reynolds Brown. Thank you, Mr. President. I move for the adoption. Second. Been moved and properly second. All those in favor? Those opposed, ayes have it, and resolution 150291 is approved. Mr. Decker, 150294. A resolution authorizing the Commissioner of Public Property to execute and deliver to the Philadelphia Area Redevelopment Authority without consideration deeds conveying conditional fees, simple title, so sitting on lots of pieces of ground with the buildings and improvements that are on situated in the 36th Ward of the City of Philadelphia. Chair recognizes Councilman Johnson. Council President, I move for the adoption of the resolution. 
It's been moved to property second. All those in favor? Aye. Those opposed? Ayes have it. And resolution 150294 is adopted. Mr. Decker, 150295. A resolution approving the redevelopment contract of the Philadelphia Redevelopment Authority for the redevelopment and urban renewal of a portion of the South Central Urban Renewal Area identified by house numbers and street addresses as 1002 through 06, 1008, 1010 through 14, and 1016 South 17th Street. Chair again recognizes Councilman Johnson. Council President, I move for the, for the adoption of the resolution. It's been moved and properly second. All those in favor? Aye. Those opposed? Ayes have it. And resolution 150295 is adopted. Mr. Decker, 150296. A resolution approving the redevelopment contract of the Philadelphia Redevelopment Authority for the redevelopment and urban renewal of a portion of the Point Breeze urban renewal area identified by house number and street address as 1642 Point Breeze Avenue. And one more time, the chair recognizes Councilman Johnson. Council President, I move for the adoption of the resolution. It's been moved and properly second. All those in favor? Aye. Those opposed? Ayes have it. Resolution 150296 is adopted. Mr. Decker, 150300. A resolution urging President Barack Obama to issue an executive order to the United States Tre Treasury to pre put a woman on the $20 bill by 2020, marking the 100th anniversary of the 19th Amendment granting women the right to vote. Chair recognizes Councilwoman Reynolds Brown. Mr. President, I move for the adoption. Second. Second. It's been moved to property second. All those in favor? Aye. Those opposed? Ayes have it. 150300 is adopted. Mr. Decker, 150303. A resolution authorizing the Commissioner of Public Property to execute and deliver to the Philadelphia Redevelopment Authority without consideration deeds conveying conditional fees simple title to the city on lots of pieces of ground with the buildings and improvements that are on situate in the 25th Ward of the City of Philadelphia. Chair recognizes Councilman Squilla. Thank you, Mr. President. I move for the adoption of the resolution. Second. It's been moved and properly second. All those in favor? Those opposed? Ayes have it. And resolution 150303 is adopted. Mr. Decker, 150304. A resolution authorizing the Commissioner of Public Property to execute and deliver to the Philadelphia Redevelopment Authority without consideration deeds conveying conditional fee simple title to city owned lots or pieces of ground with the buildings and improvements that are on situated in the first ward of the city of Philadelphia. Chair again recognizes Councilman Squilla. Thank you, Mr. President. I move for the adoption of the resolution. It's been moved and properly second. All those in favor? Those opposed, ayes have it. Resolution 150304 is adopted. Mr. Decker, 150305. A resolution approving the redevelopment contract of the Philadelphia Redevelopment Authority for the redevelopment and urban renewal of a portion of the Whitman urban renewal area identified by house number and street address is 529 Winton Street. And Chair recognizes Councilman Squilla one more time. Thank you, Mr. President. I move for the adoption of the resolution. Second. It's been moved and properly second. All those in favor? Those opposed, ayes have it. And 150305 is adopted. Mr. Decker, 150306. A resolution approving the redevelopment contract of the Philadelphia Redevelopment Authority for the redevelopment and urban renewal of a portion of the New Kensington Fishtown Urban Renewal Area identified by house number and street address is 2550 Emerald Street. And Chair recognizes Councilman Squilla. Thank you, Mr. President. I move for its adoption. Second. It's been moved and properly second. All those in favor? Those opposed? Ayes have it. 150306 is adopted. Uh, Mr. Decker, 130656A. An ordinance amending Title 14 of the Philadelphia Code by further providing for revised signed controls and amending Chapter 9600 entitled Service and Other Businesses by adjusting the licensing fees for commercial outdoor advertising signs and information required in the annual inventory of signs and amending Chapter 193400 entitled Excise Tax on Outdoor Advertising Transactions by adjusting the excise tax on outdoor advertising signs. This bill has been read on two separate days. The question is, shall the bill pass finally? Mr. Decker, call the roll. Councilwoman Bass. Councilwoman Blackwell. Councilman Good. Councilman Heenan. Councilman Johnson. Councilman Jones. Councilman Nielsen. Councilman O'Brien. Councilman O'Neill. Councilman O. Councilwoman Conrad Sanchez. Councilwoman Reynolds Brown. Councilman Squilla. Councilwoman Tasco. Council President Clark. Aye, the ayes are 15 and nays are zero. Majority of members present voting in the affirmative, the bill passes. We have uh, Mr. Decker, 140896. Are you doing an amendment? I can't read your writing.
We do 140-751. And ordinance amending section 9204 of the Philadelphia Code entitled Sidewalk Vendors in Center City by reducing the number, the number of vendor locations permitted on the east side of 5th Street from March Street to Market Street. This bill has been heard on two separate days. The question is, shall the bill pass finally? Mr. Decker, call the roll. Councilwoman Bass, Councilwoman Blackwell, Councilman Good, Councilman Heenan, Councilman Johnson, Councilman Jones, Councilman Nielsen, Councilman O'Brien, Councilman O'Neill, Councilman O, Councilwoman Conrad Sanchez, Councilwoman Reynolds Brown, Councilman Squilla, Councilwoman Tasco, Council President Clark. Aye, the ayes are 15, the nays are zero. Majority of members present voting in the affirmative. The bill passes. Mr. Decker, 140, I'm sorry, 141029. An ordinance establishing a one way regulation on East River Road from Midville Avenue to Calumet Street, northbound. This bill has been read on two separate days. The question is shall the bill pass finally? Mr. Decker, call the roll. Councilwoman Bass, Councilwoman Blackwell, Councilman Good, Councilman Heenan, Councilman Johnson, Councilman Jones, Councilman Nielsen, Councilman O'Brien. Councilman O'Neill, Councilman O, Councilwoman Gunnar Sanchez, Councilwoman Reynolds Brown, Councilman Squilla, Councilwoman Tasco, Council President Clark. Aye, the ayes are 15 and nays are zero. Majority of members present voting in the affirmative. The bill passes. Mr. Decker, 150012. And ordinance authorizing the revision of lines and grades on a portion of city plan number 231 by striking from the city plan the southeasterly half of Crams Avenue from Silverwood Street to a point approximately 65 feet southwestwardly therefrom. This bill has been heard on two separate days. The question is, shall the bill pass finally? Mr. Decker, call the rule. Councilwoman Bass, Councilwoman Blackwell, Councilman Good, Councilman Heenan, Councilman Johnson, Councilman Jones, Councilman Nielsen, Councilman O'Brien, Councilman O'Neill, Councilman O, Councilwoman Gunnar Sanchez, Councilwoman Reynolds Brown, Councilman Squilla, Councilwoman Tasco, Council President Clark. Aye, the ayes are 15, nays are zero. Majority of members present voting in the affirmative. The bill passes. Mr. Decker, 150. 013. An ordinance amending Chapter 12 of the Philadelphia Code regarding towing and immobilization of a vehicle for which registration information cannot be obtained. This bill has been read on two separate days. The question is shall the bill pass finally? Mr. Decker, call the rule. Councilwoman Bass. Councilwoman Blackwell. Councilman Good. Councilman Heenan. Councilman Johnson. Councilman Jones. Councilman Nielsen. Councilman O'Brien. Councilman O'Neill. Councilman O. Councilwoman Gunnar Sanchez. Councilwoman Reynolds Brown, Councilman Squilla, Councilwoman Tasco, Council President Clark. Aye, the ayes are 15 and nays are zero. Majority of members present voting in the affirmative, the bill passes. Mr. Decker, 150092. An ordinance authorizing Lisa Lombardo to construct on and maintain an exterior metal staircase encroachment at 2400 South Woodstock Street. This bill has been heard on two separate days. The question is shall the bill pass finally? Mr. Decker, call the roll. Councilwoman Bass, Councilwoman Blackwell, Councilman Good, Councilman Heenan, Councilman Johnson. Councilman Jones, Councilman Nielsen, Councilman O'Brien, Councilman O'Neill, Councilman O, Councilwoman Gunnar Sanchez, Councilwoman Reynolds Brown, Councilman Squilla, Councilwoman Tasco, Council President Clark. Aye, the ayes are 15 and nays are zero. Majority of members present voting in the affirmative. The bill passes. Mr. Decker, 150094. An ordinance amending section two of an ordinance, bill number 120903, entitled an ordinance authorizing the revision of lines and grades on a portion of city plan number 156 by striking from the city plan, 4th Street from Allegheny Avenue to Lippicott Street, by extending the period for compliance with the terms and conditions stated therein. This bill has been heard on two separate days. The question is shall the bill pass finally? Mr. Decker, call the roll. Councilwoman Bass, Councilwoman Blackwell, Councilman Good, Councilman Heenan, Councilman Johnson, Councilman Jones, Councilman Nielsen, Councilman O'Brien, Councilman O'Neill, Councilman O, Councilwoman Conrad Sanchez, Councilwoman Reynolds Brown, Councilman Squilla, Councilwoman Tasco, Council President Clark. Aye, the ayes are 15 and nays are zero. Majority of members present voting in the firm that the bill passes. Mr. Decker, 150095. An ordinance est establishing a no truck parking regulation on the 5800 block of Cottage Street between Harbison Avenue and Van Kirk Street on both sides of the street. This bill has been heard on two separate days. The question is, shall the bill pass finally? Mr. Decker, call the roll. Councilwoman Bass, Councilwoman Blackwell, Councilman Good, Councilman Heenan, Councilman Johnson, Councilman Jones, Councilman Nielsen, Councilman O'Brien, Councilman O'Neill, Councilman O, Councilwoman Conrad Sanchez, Councilwoman Reynolds Brown, Councilman Squilla, Councilwoman Tasco, Council President Clark. Aye, the ayes are 15 and nays are zero. Majority of members present voting in the affirmative that the bill passes. Mr. Decker, 150148. And ordinance amending section 9204 of the Philadelphia Code entitled Sidewalk Vendors in Center City by eliminating previously designated vendor locations in Center City. 
This bill has been heard on two separate days. The question is, shall the bill pass finally? Mr. Decker, call the roll. Councilwoman Bass, Councilwoman Blackwell, Councilman Good, Councilman Heenan, Councilman Johnson, Councilman Jones, Councilman Nielsen, Councilman O'Brien, Councilman O'Neill, Councilman O, Councilwoman Gernon Sanchez, Councilwoman Reynolds Brown, Councilman Squilla, Councilwoman Tasco, Council President Clark. Ayes are, uh, aye. Ayes are 15, the nays are zero. Majority of members present voting in the affirmative, the bill passes. Mr. Decker, 150171. An ordinance amending section 9201 of the Philadelphia Code entitled Curb Markets by adding and clarifying the special provisions for the South 9th Street Curb Markets. Chair recognizes Council Ms. Quilla. Thank you, Mr. President. I would like to offer an amendment to Bill Number 150171. The copy of the amendments has been circulated to all members of Council. I move for the adoption of the amendments. It's been moved and properly second. All those in favor of the amendment? Aye. All those opposed? Ayes have it. 150171 has been amended. It will be placed on our second reading and final passage calendar at our next session of Council. Mr. Decker, 150. 172. An ordinance amending section 12, 917 of the Philadelphia Code entitled Valet Parking Zones by revising the boundaries of the Center City Parking Valet, uh, Valet Parking Zone. This bill has been heard on two separate days. The question is, shall the bill pass finally? Mr. Mr. Decker, call the roll. Councilwoman Bass, Councilwoman Blackwell, Councilman Good, Councilman Heenan, Councilman Johnson, Councilman Jones, Councilman Nielsen, Councilman O'Brien, Councilman O'Neill, Councilman O. Councilwoman Gunnar Sanchez, Councilwoman Reynolds Brown, Councilman Squilla, Councilwoman Tasco, Council President Clark. Aye, the ayes are 15, the nays are zero. Majority of members present voting in the affirmative. The bill passes. Mr. Decker, do you have any additional resolutions? A resolution recognizing the month of April 2015 as Fair Housing Month introduced by Councilwoman Blackwell. Chair recognizes Councilwoman Blackwell. I move for the adoption. It's been moved and properly second. All those in favor? Those opposed? Ayes have it, and that resolution is adopted. And a resolution calling on the President of the United States and the Secretary of the Department of Housing and Urban Development to preserve the Moving to Work program and maintain current or substantially similar funding levels for the Philadelphia Th Housing Authority introduced by Councilwoman Blackwell on behalf of Council President Clark. Chair again recognizes Councilwoman Blackwell. Thank you, Mr. President. I move for the adoption. Right. It's been moved and properly second. All those in favor? Those opposed, ayes have it, and that resolution is adopted. And a resolution recognizing May 2015 as ALS Awareness Month to honor the individuals living with ALS and to urge the President and Congress to provide additional funding for research in order to find a treatment and a cure for ALS. Introduced by Councilman O'Brien. Chair recognizes Councilman O'Brien. Thank you, Mr. President. I move the resolution. Second. It's been moved and properly second. All those in favor? Those opposed, ayes have it, and that resolution is adopted. And a resolution authorizing joint hearings by the Committees on Public Safety and Housing, Neighborhood Development, and the Homeless to conduct hearings on mortgage foreclosure notice procedures and requirements under Pennsylvania law that must be provided to residential homeowners, property occupants, and all other parties of interest introduced by Council, Councilman Jones. Chair recognizes Councilman Jones. Thank you, Mr. President. I move for its adoption. It's been moved and properly second. All those in favor? Aye. Those opposed? Ayes have it, and that resolution is adopted. And a resolution congratulating the Saints John Newman and Maria Goretti Saints 2014-15 boys basketball team on winning the District 12 Class AAA City Title and the PIAA Division AAA State Championship introduced by Councilman Squilla. Chair recognizes Councilman Squilla. Thank you, Mr. President. I move for the adoption of resolution. Second. It's been moved and properly second. All those in favor? Those opposed, ayes have it, and that resolution is adopted. And a resolution requesting the mayor to return to council bill number 150056, entitled an ordinance amending subcode A of title four of the Philadelphia Code, entitled the Philadelphia Administrative Code by amending chapter three, entitled permits, and title nine of the Philadelphia Code, entitled regulation of businesses, trades, and professions to add an exemption, add definitions, and provide for the use and regulation of mobile food vendors for the purpose of reconsideration by the council of the vote by which said bill passed council, introduced by Councilman Squilla. Chair recognizes Councilman Squilla. Thank you, Mr. President. I move for the adoption of the resolution. Second. Been moved and properly second. All those in favor? Those opposed? Ayes have it, and the motion is approved. There are no other resolutions on the final passage calendar, Mr. President. Thank you very much. That concludes our calendar for today. And you have the special order?
Thank you. All right, that concludes our calendar for today, and we will now have our special business. And the chair now recognizes Councilman Squilla for a motion regarding special business. Um, Thank you, Mr. President. I move that the rules of council be suspended to make consideration of special business this time. Second. Thank you. It has been moved and seconded that the rules of council be suspended to permit consideration of special business at this time. All in favor say aye. aye. Those opposed, ayes have it. And the motion passes. Mr. Decker, please read the letter from the mayor. To the President and members of the Council of the City of Philadelphia, I am returning here with his request by your resolution adopted April 16, 2015, Bill Number 150056, entitled an ordinance amending subcode A of Title IV of the Philadelphia Code by amending Chapter 3 entitled Permits and Title IX of the Philadelphia Code by amending Chapter 9200 entitled Commercial Activities on Streets to add an exemption, add definitions, and provide for the use and regulation of mobile food vendors in certain areas for the purpose of reconsideration by the Council of the vote by which said bill passed Council. Thank you. The chair recognizes Councilman Squilla for a motion that council reconsider the vote by which bill number 150056 was passed. So moved, Mr. President. Second. Thank you. It's been moved and probably second. All in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Those opposed, ayes have it. A majority of all members having voting in the affirmative, the motion carries in the vote by which bill number 150056 was passed has been rec reconsidered. The chair again recognizes Councilman Squilla. Thank you, Mr. President. I offer an amendment to Bill Number 150056. A copy of the amendment has been circulated to all members of council. I move to the adoption of the amendment. Second. Thank you. It has been moved and probably seconded that the amendment to Bill Number 150056 be adopted. All those in favor will indicate by saying aye. All opposed? The ayes have it. And Bill Number 150056 has been amended. This bill will be placed on our final passes calendar at our next session of council. We now complete our calendar for today. And I would like, are there any speeches on the part of the minority? And the chair recognizes Councilman O. Thank you, Council President. I really am just going to talk about two things. One is that today at 1 o'clock we have a hearing on uh, LNG exports. The, the only question at this hearing is uh, from credible sources, can we do it? In a practical sense, can we? I think there's another question, should we do it? I think that comes later, because if we can't do it, there's no point in going further. But the question is, can we do it? And we will have uh, some of the top companies in uh, the U.S. that are leading the way in LNG exports, uh, one with $34 billion uh, in construction right now, and others. Um, and then in the evening at uh, 6 o'clock at Drexel University at Nesbitt Hall in Stein Auditorium at 3215 Market Street, there will be a symposium uh, that's open to the public. Once again, the question is from credible sources that are actually doing it right now across the country, can Philadelphia do this? Um, and that's for this evening. The other thing that I just wanted to recognize was today we had a uh, uh, Buddy uh, Osborne give us our opening prayer, and he is from the Rock Rock Ministries, 
And uh, he, there's a, a pamphlet uh, on every council member's desk. I know that uh, folks in the building trades here, uh, uh, Councilman Heenan and Councilman Nielsen know him well. He's also chaplain to the building trades. Um, but he started a, a, a really significant ministry at, uh, in, on Kensington Avenue um, where uh, it was a boxing ministry and some of the most uh, angry, hurt young people who wanted to hit something came to his ministry. And he's done a fantastic job there, really turned around a lot of lives who are very difficult to turn around. And it just shows that, you know, there's a place for, uh, for um, any, almost any type of talent or ability that you can share to help people turn their lives around. And now he's expanded to work with young girls in the neighborhood who are on the streets, very difficult, very angry group of young ladies that he is, again, very successfully um, ministering to. And I just wanted to recognize the good work uh, that he's doing in some of the toughest places in our city. And I know there's many other uh, people out there across Philadelphia doing the same type of thing, and we just thank them for all that they do. Thank you. Thank you, Councilman. Chair recognizes Councilman Jones on behalf of the majority. Thank you, Mr. President. There is a notable absence today in our chambers, and uh, it's one of our colleagues, Councilman Greenlee. He has the distinction of being recognized um, by the President of the United States for a piece of work that he introduced and this body um, passed. Um, it is the sick leave bill, and we are very proud um, to have a local municipality's work recognized on a national level. Um, but that's not the first time this has happened. Uh, it's happened in the case of uh, menu labeling uh, by Blondell Reynolds Brown when uh, it, it was recognized that, and it's a national trend. It was recognized by Councilman Good with Living Wage. You had an interesting editorial that highlighted a lot of the work that comes from this body that gets local, state, and national recognition. Um, Sanchez on land banking, uh, Marion Tasco on predatory lending. This is good, solid work. I want you to know today that we introduced a resolution co-sponsored by Blackwell, Bass, Brown, Good, and Tasco. It talks about the current 7,022 active foreclosures in the city of Philadelphia currently and comprises the default auctions by banks and private sector lending organizations. We talked about the diversion program. That was another uh, process of this body pulling together advocates and banks during the recession at the height of foreclosures. But since it began in 2008, there have been 57,305 foreclosure cases in the city of Philadelphia. 60.8% of those cases participated in consolidating conference. That's that whole re, uh, retargeting and recalibrating the mortgage. Approximately 30% of them actually reached an agreement with the lender. Approximately 85% of those who have reached that agreement remain in their homes after 2.5 years of their conference. One of the things that we are calling into question now is a little known provision called Act 91. Act 91 at the state level determines how an individual that might be up for foreclosure gets processed and served and notified of options available to them in a timely fashion. And that may not be a big thing to a lot of people in the city of Philadelphia who do not experience these problems. But for those people traumatized by the fact that they may lose their home, those people who may be scattered as a family to different relatives' houses or even homeless shelters, this act is the saving grace that allows them that pause, that moment of clarity to be able to seek out help, to review their legal options, and to maybe even save their homes. So we'd like to bring that to um, the attention of this body and the public to see if since that change of that act, 
How have the servicing processes been conducted since then? We respect private owners' rights to reclaim money. We respect their rights to go after property that they view as their own. But we also, also must protect the rights of families um, that are in jeopardy of losing their single largest investment in their lives, their homes. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, Councilman. Very important issue. Chair recognizes Councilwoman Blackwell. Thank you, Mr. President. I likewise commend my colleagues, uh, yourself, and all of Council for the fine work that they do, leadership work. Uh, today I rise, uh, in addition to that, to say that this is the last day for Rodney Oglesby, who um, has done a great job being a liaison with the school district. He didn't want us to mention it, but, uh, but as of tomorrow, he will leave the school district, and we wanted to say a special thank you for the role he has played in trying to help all of us with our school issues and being a liaison with uh, certainly Dr. Height and uh, so many people throughout the city and state. So we say thank you, Rodney. Thank you, Rodney. Thank you, Councilwoman. Chair recognizes Councilwoman Keona Sanchez. Thank you, Mr. President. I want to remind all my colleagues that after Council immediately at 12, the, I am hosting a briefing by the Alliance of Community Services Provider. Um, they generate about a billion dollars in federal, state, and city funding and provide um, some of our most needy communities different services, intellectual disabilities, mental health issues, people who are, who are recovering addictions. As council people, we are always challenged about how do we cite these providers, where are they located. I've asked them because they've heard um, my concerns as we've talked about budget around how do we cite some of these services, where are they, they've reached out to me. Um, they are, they're coming in with some mapping information about where these providers are located. I asked all my colleagues to join us um, and get this information about these providers in their district and all throughout the city. Lunch will be provided for those who stay for the briefing. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, Councilwoman, for very good information. There being no additional speeches, the chair recognizes Councilwoman Reynolds-Brown for a motion to adjourn. Yes, Mr. President, I've been reminded to offer a friendly reminder to all of us that we have uh, four more days to exercise our opportunity to, um, to register. And so we want to alert all listeners that there's still an opportunity to register. And with that, we move that council stand adjourned until Thursday, April 23rd, 2015, at 10 a.m. Thank you. Second. 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 Thank you. It's been moved and properly second. The council stand adjourned until Thursday, April 23rd, 2015, 10 a.m. All those in favor say aye. aye. Those opposed, ayes have it. Thank you very much.